Europe blames sabotage as pipeline leaks raise fear of Russian energy threats. Sabotage was behind underwater explosion that sent gas spewing from two major pipelines connecting Europe and Russia. Western leaders can cure Wednesday. The question now is whether the mystery might signal Moscow intent to intensify its energy class with the continent as it escalates its military effort in Ukraine. The European Union top diplomat said the leak from the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines under the Baltic seas were caused by a deliberate act, though he stopped short of directing accusing anyone. It remained unclear who or what might be behind the leak, with the Kremlin dismissing suggestion it was to blame as predictable and also predictably stupid. Secretary of the State Antony Blinken said Tuesday that if the apparent sabotage is confirmed, it would be in no one's interest, adding that the leak on the pipeline, which runs from Russia to Europe, will not have a significant impact on Europe energy resilience. But while neither pipeline had been delivered natural gas to Europe, the continent standoff with Russia and its looming winter energy crisis meant alarm bell were ringing. All available information indicates those leak are the result of a deliberate act, European Union foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell said in a statement on behalf of the Bloc 27 member. Any deliberate disruption of Europe energy infrastructure is utterly unacceptable and will meet with a robust and unite respond. Blinken spoke with his Danish counterpart Wednesday about their apparent sabotage. A State Department spokesperson said, The United States remained united with our allies and partners in our committee. To promoting European energy security, the spokesperson added. NATO Secretary General Jen Stolentberg said he disgusted the sabotage of the pipeline at the meeting with Denmark Defense Ministry in Brussels. Ukraine presidential adviser Mikhailo Polokyak earlier pinned the blame directly on Russia accusing it of an act of aggression and attempting to destabilize economic situation in Europe and cause pre-winter panic. Latvia also suggested it had no doubt that caused the leak seem that we enter a new phase of hybrid war, Foreign Minister Edgar Renkavik said on Twitter. The incidents has put the region on edge month after fear of a Russian military threats to the Baltic dispatch in the wake of its military struggle in Ukraine. After meeting with Solenberg, Denmark's defense chief called for the needs to step up security. Russia has a significant military presence in the Baltic Sea region, and we expect them to continue their cyber raiding, Morten Botskov said in a statement on Wednesday. The Swedish Public Prosecutor Office said it had opened an investigation into the explosion. European official, including the Swedish Prime Minister, have said the pattern of damage to the pipeline is highly suggestive of a coordinated explosion. The two pipelines have been a major focus of tension over Russia war in Ukraine. Western capital have accused the Kremlin of weaponizing energy supply to stroke a crisis that has sent prices spiraling and threatened to undermine political support for Kiev. In light of Russian President Vladimir Putin's move to call up military reservice, annex occupied territories and issue renewed nuclear threats following a successful Ukrainian counteroffensive, analysts said the pipeline blast could be seen as a timely signal that conflict over energy could also be escalated. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.